Hello everyone, um, this is Mana, and um, I'm reviewing a demo of a, a friend of mine named Marcato, who's uh, getting into open with a new open team, with a bunch of friends of mine actually. Um, he's, this, is a, this is his first season playing in ESCA open, so I wanted to help him out in his team. So he gave me a couple demos, and uh, we'll get into it. He says these are pretty decent games, so we'll see what happens. already a mistake. You don't want to uh, jump to his spawn. You want to wait until you get your first buff. So you get crit heals, and you don't need that much health. You need like maybe 240 at best. Um, this demo is kind of lagging. I don't know if it's a uh, demo or it's me. You had the right idea. Um, it's unfortunate you missed so much. Um, I wouldn't push up that far unless you want to jump across, basically. Like, if, if that's your plan. Snake water, especially, your team needs to decide if you want to run like a passive mid or a, uh, an aggressive mid where both of you sack. Okay, so your med just went down. So you'll be looking for an opening to get a horse. Your demo got a frag. Looks like uh, you're looking for an opening. Don't bother trying that first spin rocket, just go for the med. You wouldn't have alerted the med. And um you could have had one more rocket if they missed shots on you. At that distance, you're not going to hit them for much. So, just save that extra rocket for shooting it at the med in close range. Since you're, you're going to die, it's pretty much granted. This is a good spot. You can go to the, the bottom edge of this. Um, I mean, if you had time. But you could have gone to the bottom edge to get healed. Okay, this is a good play. Shoot the point guard. Don't bother with the med. Just shoot, shoot the scout. Post Uber, the med doesn't matter at all. Practically has no importance. Scouts, scouts in a fight. As long when a, a fight draws on, the scouts become much more powerful. Just because they. Oh, I can explain that in another video, but yeah. I wonder if this is... Oh, I think you might be hiding. Maybe that's why you're checking my craft. Alright, they're gonna go left again. Decided to go in. But I didn't like that you... I, I explained this the last bit, but I didn't like that you went all the way up to the top of the platform. And you didn't do... You didn't really do anything with it. Um, those but if you go up to the top of that, you want to you want to either either go all the way in or just play it back. Don't sit on top of that thing. Time has been the demo can target you. Scouts can kind of just jump in and out, and it makes it very hard to fight. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think you're just just hang back if you're three up. Okay, now you got the bonds. This is good. You definitely want to have mobility. Don't stand here though. This, this is a terrible spot to stand. Just get out of the range of like demo sticky spam. Get healed. Good damage. Exploit. If they if they're out of position, shoot at them. It's Pretty decent amount of throwing fire. Feel free to take health back. If you could have. Okay, not anymore, but like. If you. You could have inspected your scouts. You kinda did. But you could have inspected both your scouts, see if they need the health pack more. But otherwise, you could have taken it. Looks like you're trying to make a play. You can't really 
long way to make a play. Like you kind of did, you were kind of like, oh, a, sh a scout like saw me and he shot a shot something at me. You still gotta you either gotta really back out or really go in. You got decent amount of spawns, so you guys are gonna hold too. Right, we're going in. Okay, you got the force. Let's get out. Yeah. Alright, you did damage. Um, I think this is more of a team issue. Well, right there, we just saw that your team definitely had a worse Uber, assuming that um, you guys were tracking correctly. Um, and you should have been way out, especially uh, TSC. But, um, it's for another time. Um, your flank has to coordinate, or whoever's even like making the play to get the force has to coordinate. Because you don't want to lose more than one person, usually. To get a force out. Time has been added. This is starting to be really perilous. Yeah, you need to get out of here. If your if your combo starts backing up like that, you need to get out too. There's not much you're gonna be able to do, especially with such little help. Get buffed up and get out. Or yeah, yeah, this is good. Maybe you want to slow down your shots a little bit because you missed you missed um hitting that floor right there that you just shot at with the rocket. Oh yeah, if you want to fall off, fall off the backside. Don't don't fall off the front. Nice, you got a drop on the med. You can stand here, look for back cappers. Uh, snake. This new version of snake is definitely easier to push out of. So I would honestly just do a coordinated push. It's nice that you're trying to defend last, but you have all six up. Time has been added. And um, you could have you could have left that earlier. You knew that they were capped, like your team was capping, and so you could have predicted that no one was gonna. This is kind of bad positioning, by the way. Don't rush all through the same door, like. Spread, spread out a little bit, especially so you can get heals. Um, but what I was going to say is um, you could have jumped out, or you could have gone to your team earlier, because you knew they were going to cap it, and you didn't captured. see anything. Like, there, there's no way a scout could have gone in and made a back cap at that point. So you can stop this cap. Oh, this, sorry, this is nice one. Back up. Looks like your ping is mm, kind of a little shaky. Are you going to stay on med? Ah, uh, good try. There wasn't much you could do. Let's see if this smooths this out. Hit out a little bit. Get healed, get healed. Call for the med. Like, say I'm behind you or something. Like, get crit heals right now. Any chance you can really get good, like, easy crit heals, take them. Because... In the... Don't, don't hit yourself like that, by the way. But... In the chance that you end up, um... Being in, like, a 1v1 of some sort, with another roamer, it's... Pretty much without a doubt that the buff roamer will win that fight. Alright, I hope you're using that as an like, info. Yep. I, I think your team knew because you said something, I'm pretty sure. Don't, don't be in the middle of the evil like this. There's no point. You're not going to do any damage and they're going to kill you easier. Alert! The final control point is being contested. Yeah, don't, don't make a play into the Uber. Um, unless it's like, you know, like the previous last hole, you were jumping into the end of it. Like, that's okay. Um, definitely do it. Definitely, like, jump into the plank. Or, you know, like, try, try to make a play on whoever's not Uber. Alright, we're gonna go left again. Alright, are we commit? Yes. That's what I wanted. Honestly, for mid fights, and this is kind of 
situational, but I would n I wouldn't necessarily always go for the med. It was a good try, but especially on snake, it's a little dangerous to go for the med because you probably might not kill them. Um, I in that such I probably would have tried to put damage in the pocket or the demo. Um, time has been added because the med would have to spend time buffing those two up, and. Um, in a mid fight, meds aren't that important. Meds aren't super, super important. Like, I'm, I'm talking very general Time terms, but they're more important when they actually have Uber and they use Uber. But, otherwise, it's not as important. So, generally what you want to do is kill off the combat classes. And, you know, like, secure mid, basically. This is a good spot. I would that that rocket you shot was kind of close to the the entrance. I would shoot it a little bit further back. That's kind of a general philosophy of soldier is that you kind of want to shoot behind the enemy so you can hit their foot. Um, I think I think it was Platinum who advised that like you should should shoot at their knee kneecap level um, in the in the character model. Um, yeah, that's not that's really good advice. I would say. There's no real need to like look at your sniper there. I w I would have searched. I would just like kept my box there. Um, this would be a good time to go for these up here. Just pull out your escape plan and run. If you're running it, I don't. I can't tell. Oh, I don't know where that scout died, but if it was because you guys both left here, that'd be really bad. You definitely want someone that was watching flank. This side of the flank. Oh, you guys... Oh, no. Okay. I thought you guys were going in for a trade or something. Alright. Yeah. Good there. Um, this is one of the things where I think MGE actually would have helped with um, being able to free fire. This is really dangerous. Yeah, you're kind of stuck. That's too bad. Um, your demo should have been. Oh, I guess you looked fine on the text, but. Then we go in. We need to stop the point. Oh boy, it's really dicey. Um, you definitely saw that rumor. You wanted to do something about it. Um, the correct answer would have been to pre fire it. And sometimes that's not feasible depending on like what kind of pain you're getting, but um if you if you're able to do it, it's it's actually kinda useful skill to counter other roamers. You guys are all stacked right now, you guys are gonna spread out way more. And the other thing is try not to take fall damage. Have your crosshair aim at where you're going to shoot at. Sometimes I see your crosshair are kind of stuck in the middle of places, but um, it's not really doing anything. Let's oh, get the health pack. I, mean, I know you want heals in this place, but I would have taken that health pack. It's a very easy 100 and it would put less stress on uh, your med to give you full heal. I don't like this spot right here, because like, they're not really doing anything and you already have a combo here. I, I assume your demo had a trap somewhere close by, maybe not, but it wasn't really useful. You could have made a play on the flank as well. Nice rocket. I hope you calmed it. It's unfortunate you can't really go in, but your scouts got him anyways. I, I think that was him. Okay, you guys are doing a flank push. Um, what I like to do a lot, and this isn't really necessary to necessarily for this part, but like, I like spotting, basically, where you sometimes stack five people. Okay, this is good, you're like leaving, leaving the point. You saw that roamer though. Presumably he's gonna go for a back cap or something. Okay. I probably would have done the exact same thing, but I honestly have no idea where he went. That's really weird. But um, 
I do like stacking five people in one place. Then, ooh, interesting rocket there, but um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I would have um, stacked five five people in one one choke, especially if like say a demo is down or something, and then have um. Have you spot the flank entrance where, wherever like your team's not Time going? Has been added. And then just jump into the fight when you know that they're through or Uber's are getting traded or so. Oh, TSC's taking the lowest. It's still pretty safe. Got it. Oh, your scout was out in lobby while you guys were holding back. Mm. Don't worry about looking at your sniper, just deny that entrance. Nice, we got a shot. Someone, um, someone should go for a trade right now. Like, either, especially, um, this is going to kind of depend on the team, but, um, you could have held a little closer when he was sniping. When he was sniping, I mean, I mean that upper spot's okay, though. You could also sit on that fence, right, pretty much right in front of you. Wow, you got two picks. Oh, it's the same person too. Um. All right, you're going for a trade. So what I was gonna say is, people on your flank, you could be talking. Shoot up. Ah, good try. You got a little denied there. Um, don't worry about it. Um, if you're in a situation where you're, where you're able to get a trade, someone should call to go in, and it should be whoever's closest to getting it. It might not necessarily always be you. It could be a scout that just happens to be like at, an, at a flank entrance, and he's ready to go in. I would advise working on jump maps too. Like, jump like these are very, would be very simple and intuitive. Some, with some practice and jump maps. Alright, they're gonna get in. Pop at the shutter. Good, he didn't go for the air shot. Right, the <laughs> you guys gotta get on the point. Go, go, go. Push out all the combat classes. You saw the scout lower, maybe? You saw the soldier. Ooh, that sucks. Shooting three rockets, but not hitting them. That was a nice shot. But um, don't rely on those shots. Definitely practice that shooting the ground. Like I, I know it's kind of like a stupid saying to say shoot the ground, but like what's really meant by that is you could have hit really solid shots with um, really good accuracy if you had shot the ground of where that soldier was. You definitely would have killed him, especially with three rockets. I would uh practice ammo mod MGE to do that. That's my personal way of training that skill. Don't need a scout with you on here. It's absolutely fine. He's much better spotting like another entrance. Your scout should be chasing this guy. <laughs> Some of those downward shots are very odd to shoot. Get to just push them out. You're not doing anything this spot. Like you're kind of like hiding behind but the, the shed, but you should have some kind of sightline for one of the entrances. Keep your crosshair on them. Be ready to shoot at them if they try to push it. That soldier is dumb for trying to get you off there. It's a terrible sideline. But don't fall off. See, now you're really hurt because it's a slight upward shot, so it's going to be really hard to out the end of that way. Um, this is kind of unfortunate. Like, you were just kind of going back out, but they Ubered in. At least you got the multi down. It's the best you could have done in that situation.
Yeah, just to reiterate, don't jump in spawn. Wait till you get your first spot before you start jumping. Snake um, is a little longer of a rollout, so you could do that, but I I wouldn't do it for Snake. You could do it for Granary though. I saw the soldier jump in front of you, I think. So I would go for a trade right now, because, yeah, exactly that situation, actually. That kind of stuff can happen. Like, sitting in this spot, like, you, you gotta either, like, play really passive there, or... or just go super aggressive. Like, this is a mid for... for pretty much demos, for the most part. And scouts in certain parts of the terrain. Practice rollouts, it's a small thing, but on Roamer, every small thing counts. It can give you the edge. Practice rollouts because not only they they can have like, you know, consistent rollouts on every round, side, but you can also get back into the fight when you like need to get to the med really quickly. On respawn, because you will die a lot, you know, compared to what well, you should be dying a lot compared to the everyone else. So, if you practice rollouts, basically from going from different spawns to different positions, then you'll, um, you'll cut down a lot of time where you're not in the fight, or you're not in the fight. Right there you should have shot the ground. It's very tempting to hit direct, I know. Take the ammo pack too. Because, um, you want to deny that stuff for your enemies. Every little thing counts. You have this territory that you have territorial advantage right now. Um, if he jumped away, I you didn't really need to leave. I try and air shot, but no. You need to get the health back here. You could start a back cap. But yeah, especially since you're you have an enemy that, that passed you. Oh, you got lucky with that, sir. You're probably gonna die. Yeah. Don't be afraid to take health packs and health packs. Okay, you guys got a pack cap. That's pretty lucky. I don't know if there's any respawns, but they're gonna try and get him. Oh, you almost got it. Alright, you got four spawns. Yep, this is a good rollout right now. Take the ammo, take the ammo. Uh, there wasn't really a need for that second rocket, but it's pretty fancy. Yeah, work on hitting those shots. Too. I would definitely advise MGE. At least some of them MGE. I don't really like them for long periods of time. But um, it is very good training if you can find a good opponent. DM will help with that too. Thanks for the aid. Okay, don't go for direct here. Kind of. You didn't really hit anything except that scout, I guess. That one scout that you cracked. could have shot at the ramp right there. And that's that's an especially useful skill, especially at every choke, because you'll um, you'll be able to juggle enemies. That's a very key part of playing soldier. Being able to juggle them. Yeah. Alright, that's a good sack. I like that play. The final control point is being contested. Just to reiterate, um, 
don't jump in spawn. Wait for your first buff, unless it's a really long map. Give them hell, boys. Basically, only greenery and like sunshine, I would say. All the other maps are kind of Thanks, too small. Alright, you're committing. This is the first. I really like this. I really like middle plays. Damage that's got a lot too, so this is good. Alright, that demo is gonna die, I hope. Nice, there we go. That mid, like, stop healing them or something. It's unfortunate you didn't win that fight, but it happens. Um, I don't really know how to describe this, but you probably want to try and smooth out your aim a bit. You have quite a few flick, flick aim type stuff going on, which is which is fine, but uh, it's a little inconsistent. If you look at someone like RR, uh, when he roamed in like season 14 or whatever it was for IT, and he has lots of, I think he has a lot of stream archives still, he, he had like pretty good flick aim. He could definitely tell. He was very accurate. He was pretty dangerous. He was a pretty dangerous roamer. Oh, yeah, so right there. Definitely, uh, you could have jumped out there. I know you're on really low health, but this is where jump maps help, where you can predict how to get, get from place to place without taking fall damage. You could have taken that health back, I would have. Although, although it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, you guys are losing the fight. I would, I, I would have taken the bottom health back and done something there. Oh, you have the market gardener? Okay, Alert. interesting. The control point is being Take captured. the health back, please. Oh. You're in behind, but... Oh, they popped anyways. Yeah, they didn't need to pop there, but... Jump maps and a little bit more MGE or DM, I would say. Thanks for the uh, don't try not to throw too, many, too many air shots. I know that was your other soldier, but I don't really want to do that too often. I would have um, I would have jumped in front of that scout. I wouldn't have like tried to shoot the like these mid-range spam stickies, especially since it was kind of an upward slope. I definitely would have jumped in front of him. Um, all right, yeah, that's the demo. Um, yeah, that was good. All right, so. Thanks for watching, and um, see you in the next one.